just filmed the YouTube video. I didn't like it. It was like a skincare mukbang type of thing. Sorry, I deleted it. We're here though. <laughs> Sorry, I deleted all the good, beautiful footage I had. But to catch you up, I did my skincare. I'm trying to do my hair now and I'm trying to figure out what the freak we're going to do today. <sighs> what the freak are we going to do today? I'm also eating breakfast, which is in my baby bowl. The strawberries are a little tart. I don't know if I could get down with them. And I'm eating cheese and cranberries. I'm not gonna lie. I've been into pottery lately. Like, I want to try pottery, but I'm a little intimidated. Like, you can't lie. When you were intimidated by something you have not tried before and it's in like a class do you ever get nervous or like what because i think i'm just nervous at the fact of trying pottery on a pottery wheel and not knowing what i'm doing and i don't think that i'll get frustrated but i don't know i'm just like i'm scared of the level of impatience i might reach at that moment and pottery is like I'm going to book the class because just sitting here talking about how much it is a challenge, it feels like I need to challenge myself and do it. We're going to book the class right now. I don't think I'm lying. We're booking it for real. For 2.30, it's 1.15 right now. I'm going to this place called Smash Clay in Studio. I'm nervous, but I'm a good nervous. I'm a good nervous. We, we're doing our extravagant shit for the day, okay? In my YouTube video, no, in my TikTok yesterday, and I'm just doing side quests, and I am. So this is the side quest of today. Pottery. Like, I'm into, like, the craft stuff, but in the process of trying to move out, bringing more stuff into your house is, like, not beneficial. Like, I want to do a whole bunch of Lego sets and stuff, but I can't keep just putting that shit anywhere I've been making candles, building Lego sets, getting paintings drawn. I'm like, I can't keep bringing in all this junk until I move and then I have a place to put the junk, you know? I feel like I haven't been on YouTube in a minute because, sorry to just like jump subjects, but you know how on all of my YouTube videos, if you've been here, hi if you're new, I'm Kelsey, Kelsey Queen. My past YouTube videos, I will always say like every time I get a lot of followers, so fast i get nervous and i stop posting and that's literally what happened to youtube now to just bring topic the whole pregnancy announcement video <sighs> every day my friends and my family are like kelsey you're famous and i'm like no i'm not and it's not even me trying to be humble but it's just like me feeling like a normal ass person i just be talking to the camera and posting and go so i guess when i posted the, <laughs> the youtube video i didn't expect the world to go crazy which i guess is a my thing like a my fault thing but the reactions that i got were like what the is going on like <laughs> i don't know how to explain it but i was like so in shock with the amount of people it reached and the amount of people who it impacted and how everyone was handling it and then in that moment, I was like, okay, Kelsey, maybe you do have a little dip on your chip. And you need to know that now. So now I'm more aware and I'm more careful about what I say and do because it's a lot of you guys. And I didn't know that at first. Here I am thinking I just be talking and people just be, you know, in and out. After I had posted that video, a lot of my guy followers reached out to the people who they thought were the dad and they were like why did you get kelsey pregnant you got kelsey pregnant but i didn't know that you guys were gonna be like direct telling them kelsey's pregnant and you're the one who got her pregnant when they weren't the ones that got me pregnant and then like just my women followers being very excited and announcing it before i announced it everywhere and again <sighs> pregnancy is a big deal having a child is a big deal but I didn't want it to be a big deal. I just thought I was going to post a video. Y'all were going to be like, oh, Kelsey's pregnant. And then, like, we were going to go back to our regular scheduled programming. But after that, like, you guys were like, oh, my gosh, there's a bump. Oh, my gosh, there's not a bump. Oh, my gosh, you're pregnant. Oh, my gosh, who's the father? But a lot of people want to know, 
how I got pregnant, which is obviously having six, but I'm going to answer that just because I was celibate for over a year. There was just always one guy in my like old Q and A's. You guys used to ask me, why do I have a spam account with one follower? Like in my TikToks, you would be like, Kelsey's who baggy clothes are you always wearing? Spend the day with me in my nephew video. I had said something like, I was so mad I almost texted my ex <laughs> and then at the end of that video I said something like hold on let me respond to a very important message but I was always somehow there I take myself on a lot of dates and I do a lot of things by myself so sometimes you do want attention from other people and being an influencer I am very selective about who I want my attention from. I think that since being an influencer, I haven't seriously talked to anyone because of being an influencer. My ex, which was before I was an influencer, checking on me and we ended up seeing each other. Which is when in one of my videos I was like, I've been celibate for 14 months and I finally broke my celibacy. And although that I am pregnant and there's like a little baby inside me that I'll be talking to sometimes you couldn't convince me that i'm pregnant and i have a little baby inside of me that i talk to sometimes i follow spirit on tiktok and she's like i don't want to get her weeks wrong but she's in her 30s of weeks pregnant and she's like i still don't feel like i'm pregnant so i'm like this shit's never gonna hit me like <laughs> i'm convinced it's never gonna hit me that i'm pregnant until i'm in the hospital about to give birth you know anyways to get off of the topic of me having a baby Oh, what the fuck <laughs> um, i just want to say that if you want to do something this is completely off topic but if you want to do something you should do it like if someone inspires you you should do it but make your own tweak to it because i remember when i wasn't an influencer on tiktok and i would see so many people get free wigs i used to want to be an influencer on tiktok hey could not do my hair myself I appreciate it because it's kind of like something I wanted to do but I'm doing it the way that I'm comfortable doing it and what I mean by that is like obviously I get my hair done a lot right and people are always like why are you wasting your money getting your hair done and leaving it in for a week or two weeks but a lot of people don't understand and realize that me getting my hair done is completely free I look at it as like a service for service I get my hair done and I take pictures and videos in it and people want to book with the person who did my hair which ends up leaving them sold out or booked and me getting paid via TikTok or whatever and a free hairstyle. This is just an example I'm using but obviously apply it to your own. I think nowadays a lot of people get inspired by other people and they feel the need to have to do it the exact same. But I'm like, if you tweak it and do it how you feel or how you want to do it, like you can get the same result or even better. I hear a lot of horror stories with working or being a hair influencer and working with a lot of the wig companies in China and them like not paying people or shortchanging people, not giving them what they're worth. And I'm like, I want to be a hair influencer, but... I want to do it in a way that'll make me happy and not have to stress and I do that and now I'm just here happy every day with a new hairstyle every week you know get inspired by like doing shit in your own unique way and then inspire other people like you copying or doing what you see word for word and bar for bar and then someone doing like getting inspired by you and doing it word for word and bar for bar that's how stuff gets like played out really fast okay this is getting old i keep seeing this everyone's doing this getting boring but when you kind of tweak it and do it in a different way it won't ever get boring because it hasn't been seen or done before and i don't know off topic another i'm just jumping topics now i foot to sleep no my whole entire right side of my body's asleep <sighs> i have to leave i'm gonna dress like a a little hippie today because i'm finna go make potter i think it just fits the vibe <laughs> the bangs really just add to that okay i need to go i'm like really enjoying this moment talking to you oddly enough took that sorry i have a bad habit of doing my feet like this yeah i'm gonna wear this today we'll give dilf 
I've been getting milf like every day. We need to put on for the dads too. I think I'm gonna take you with me. I literally booked this class to influence you to be, you know, um, <laughs> um, face your fears. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? I'm about to be mom. We made it. It's like 2.35. I walked around and it's upstairs. They didn't tell me it was upstairs. It starts at 2.30, it's 2.37, but more walking. leave it in here yes we have an, we're starting to get the nice circular shape but we want to add some more pressure with our left hand so it's a bit taller right because this is kind of shallow i'm done this man in a suit reminds me of the song classic man for some odd reason but i'm done it's 3 30 it took about an hour Thank you. Imagine my pregnant tail self walking around in a fly fit and some apple juice. Don't play because I got Scooby Snacks in my bag too. <laughs> I got really close parking. Like, look at Phoebe. She right there. I didn't have to walk up no stairs, take no elevator. I feel amazing. I feel like I needed that humbling experience because. I always tell myself I could do everything and sometimes I need to be humbled, you know? Girl, I thought I was that she. My bestie. I told her we should do something today, right? And she said, I want to be a mermaid today. So I think I'm going to go swimming with her. Focus, focus, focus. Made it home. I don't know if I've ever introduced you to my mod's pizza order, but we're going to get mod's pizza today. Tripod, spidey backpack that is not supposed to be open. As far as snacks, I'm gonna pack some boom chicka pop. We're here, we got the goods. Either after you see my order, you're gonna hate me or you're gonna love me a little bit more, but it's not, nothing crazy. It's a cheese pizza with corn, okay? I should have did extra corn. It's really good. No, this isn't like a pregnancy thing. This was before pregnancy. Healthy. Rather than pregnant, it tastes way better though. I'm glad that you're here eating this pizza with me. I don't know why, but throughout my day, when I'm like very at least, um, again, lips are dry, sorry. But when I'm very at peace in my day and I'm like not thinking of anything or in a really good mood, I always just say out loud, I'm so happy. I'm having one of those moments right now. Like, I just feel so zen. I don't know if it's because I've been by myself all day. That like, bro, I don't know what I was thinking, but I poured this, right? And I filled it with ice, gum. And I tried to pour juice in it or tea in it, right? And because I put so much ice, I put like this much juice in it. And like this much lemonade in it. I still have to meet my bestie at the pool, which she is there by herself right now. What time is it? Hopefully the rest of my day will be very zen and peaceful. I really don't know how to explain it, but it's just like when I'm doing things that I really, really am satisfied with. And I'll say like around family and friends, but they're not like excited or anything because they don't really understand why I feel that way or anything. But I'm, I'm right there right now. I have this like, bump on my nose and it is so fucking cute it was a pimple but i like scratched it off so now it's like a red scar and i just love it i think it really emphasizes the big nose i don't know i don't know i gave up sweet tea for lint one year and i realized after lint was over that i could actually go without sweet tea 
and I never craved it again and this is my first time having it or second time having it because I had some yesterday it's my second time having it in like years we're here we're bestie I literally left my other bathing suit so I have to do a strapless one waiting on one more person before we go swimming but here's the OOTD here's bestie's OOTD hi um it's Monday I filmed that video Friday. I didn't end the video, so I'm ending the video now. I'm getting ready to go to my fourth doctor's appointment. So get what you get and you don't throw a fit, okay? Hope you enjoyed the video. Love you.